I have a free afternoon, so I thought I would go for a little ride in my neighborhood. Now, where I live is where my college is, and I'm just outside the college. Or it's an area of Zhongshan called Kaifachu. In English, it's known as the Torch Industrial Development Zone. And it's all factories. That's all it is. Shaolin has, you know, a real town, you know. It's got services, and financial services, and, and places to eat. And, you know, it's a great place to live, as well as has that industrial base. But here in uh, Kaifachu, there is none of that. It is just wall-to-wall -wall factories. Uh, with the exception of this college, of course. Now, most of my students at this college are preparing to go to work in the factories around here. And uh, this whole area has been funded by the uh, Guangdong Provincial Government, as well as the city of Zhongshan. It's about mm, 90 hectares, I believe it is. Uh, there's over 1,000 enterprises in this area, including 20 global Fortune 500 companies, all doing business here. And it's mostly technology. It's industrial technology, it's machinery, it's packaging, it's environmental green technology, energy technology. You know, there's a bunch of wind turbine companies here. They also have many manufacturers for things like computers. GoPro has a uh, some suppliers here. Canon and Winstrom, which is a very large employer here. They make Dell computers and uh, are even a supplier for Apple. They do some iPhones. And my college is a polytechnic college, so it's mostly engineering, but there's other majors that support these businesses in this area. You know, marketing, foreign trade, accounting even. I thought I'd give a ride around the neighborhood. There's not much to it. It's kind of a an overcast day. Pollution's pretty light in Zhongshan, even in the industrial zone, but, but there's an awful lot of truck traffic and uh, kind of a boring infrastructure because it's all gridded with factories. China has some beautiful areas, but let's not forget the other areas of China that make China the manufacturing juggernaut that it really is, and this is one of them. Zhongshan also has the Zhongshan port, which uh, according to my research, it has one of the top 10 container capacities in the country. This was started about 1990, so it's still rather new uh, area to be developed. Bike path next to the main street so that uh, people can ride their e-bikes and their regular bicycles. Here is a, they got a job fair, it looks like. So these are employers looking to hire factory workers. And uh, we'll, we'll ride through it and take a look. Hello. Oh, there he is, yeah, see? Yeah. Hi, how you doing, man? <laughs> Very friendly people everywhere here. Hello. 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 These are all the factories looking to hire you know, migrant workers and low skilled workers. And many of the advertisements are for 13, 15 RMB per hour. Um, I've seen it even lower than that. I even heard recently that the Starbucks a baristas only make 10 RMB per hour. So working out here in a factory, you make almost 50% more than at Starbucks. Information about future development and infrastructure projects, and there's infrastructure projects everywhere out here. It's continuously improving. Big overpasses, and apparently they're even gonna do some, uh, some light rail here as well. international hotels, some of which are not bad. Most of them are mid-range, but they're not expensive. You can stay in a four-star hotel out here for about 200 RMB at night. They are trying to get more residential development here. They are building it and people are buying it, but nobody's moving in. Many of the residential buildings are still empty. Right, so behind me, this is the Zhongshan passenger port where the ferries that take you to Hong Kong and you can go down to Zhuhai, you can go anywhere really, mostly to Hong Kong. But in this part, you've got little parks like this 
but they're not used very much. And it's also invested heavily in its bus system. They have these new double-decker buses, very much like Hong Kong. Here, next to the ferry terminal, is the uh, container port. Now I'm not gonna ride down there because it's very dangerous with all the truck traffic. But I have been down there, I've driven by it before, and it's just mile after mile of cranes and container facilities, and it just goes on and on and on. Not only is the air in this area of town considerably worse, but also the roads are really bad because these trucks are massive and they're very very heavy carrying all kinds of products to the main port terminal here if you've got a car you have to drive super slow i got my e-bike i can't go any further because these roads are really bad i mean if you head south from the container port a little bit uh, things quiet down quite a bit as you can see these roads are completely empty right now that will be built on one day. But Zhongshan is very good at trees and gardens and they've really put a lot of money and time in when they built this infrastructure to make it beautiful. It's just not used. This is sad. Yeah, everyone knows I'm a big fan of China and I love Zhongshan. But when I see something like this, I have to wonder why. This is a massive public square that I'm in, middle of the day, and it's completely unused. This is known as Century Square. And it was built about 20 years ago. And it doesn't look like it has ever been used for anything. It just sits here in the middle, surrounded by beautiful office buildings and new apartment complexes, but it's rotting. Hey. Gardens that surround this place, including a brand new beautiful park right next door, are well taken care of. This is scary looking. thing to see in an otherwise pristine and beautiful city. I hope that one day as this part of town matures and gets a little bit more, I want to say affluent perhaps, if the economy continues to stay strong, that this whole area will get turned around because it's prime location and it would really make this a wonderful place to live. Other than the little village of Zhangjiabian, which we'll go to next, in the Torch Development Zone, there is no shopping, except for this one mall that has a very familiar look to it. They call this the Sunshine Mall, and it's actually, literally, modeled after the United States Capitol Building. It does have a Pizza Hut, it has a KFC, and it does have a Walmart. Walmart is its anchor store. It's in the basement, it's the entire basement. I know this is the only Walmart in all of Zhongshan. The one in Shichi closed. I think this is the only one left. So I should consider myself lucky that it's so close to where I live. I can go in here and take a look around. I love abandoned places. Wonderful park. It's brand new and it's very, very lovely. It's just not the nicest day today. 
Uh, it's a little overcast, maybe a little tinge of pollution. Zhongshan, for the most part, the pollution is not bad. But in the wintertime, there are some days that it can get bad. We're a coastal city, so the little clouds kind of trap it in here. Beijing level, we never see it. So I've come to the giant expo center here in the Torch Development Center. I have never seen this area in use. Uh, I've driven by it many times. I'm sure that they do use it for some things, but I've never seen these fountains on and um, for the most part, it seems to be very, very desolate. Now there is a beautiful looking art museum right here. Uh, I know Zhongshan has a few art museums, this one's called the Shengrong International Zhongshan Art Museum. It looks very cultural. I think I'll go in there someday. But it's basically that building is a mirror of this building. And of course you have these giant, giant and beautiful uh, government buildings all over the place. They really are the nicest buildings in the area, I think. Hey. Hey. Here's something kind of interesting. You know, I'm in an area, I mean, the exhibition center's across the street. What I'm looking at is a beautiful modern sculpture buried and hidden in what looks like was supposed to be some kind of park, but it is overgrown and completely forgotten. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I thought I'd come take a look at it. Very strange to see things like this. getting into an area known as uh, Bien, which is a little bit closer to where my college is and away from all the factories and you can see behind me this beautiful park with a giant pagoda on top of the hill. I haven't explored this park yet. I can't wait to do it. It's not a large park. I'm not going to do it today because I have groceries on my back but uh, there are many parks surrounding this area just like this with hills that really are the hidden gems of Zhongshan. Now I've come to the village of Zhongjiabian, and Zhongjiabian is a little bit more mature neighborhood in the area. This is a, a very busy little market street. There's tons of people here at night. It's just completely packed. So that's it, that's my neighborhood. It's, uh, again, I miss Shuchi, don't get me wrong. I, I loved living down there. This is about 30 to 40 minutes on the bike, about 30 to 40 minutes on the bus away from Shuchi. Again, this is my neighborhood right outside my college, and it's peaceful. It's a little, it's a lot more blue collar. It's not nearly as affluent as my old neighborhood in Shuchi, but uh, it's got its own charm to it, it really does. It's a little bit older population, you know, people playing ping pong in the park. Check it out. People just hanging out in the park. A beautiful park, too. Uh, it's attached to this, uh, this hill with a, a temple on top that I'll go explore sometime in the future.